Hi, <laughs> my name is Alda Alcester, and one thing that I notice of like my generation or of the people that I am around is how different the minds are from different generations. It's like it's like they know what they're doing and they know it's not the thing that they want to do. It's just like they think that it's what they have to do. It's sad to see because it's like you can't find your own voice. And I don't know, recently there's been more people being open about like not being like other people because they're like, you know, like, what can I do at this point? But for a lot of the people, they're obvious that they're lost when they're trying not to look lost. And that might just be my perception on it, because I always think, like, if people aren't, like, doing, like, to the extent of their comfortability with themselves, like, I feel like they're not being their full selves. But... I don't know, there's still people in my generation that I find like can have their own voice and can say what they want to say, but there's definitely a substantial amount of people that don't feel like that's something they find interesting or something they find needed to change. It's like very worrisome because it's like if we don't have anyone like inspired to change something of a generation then it's just gonna keep happening and like the comfortability that has happened with more generations like two two generations like above is like more they're being completely free like the internet for instance like there's people who express themselves a certain way on the internet which would have usually been judged in the past but it's like being accepted or accepted by most people. And it's like, you can tell the difference. There's people on Instagram, there's people all over the internet who like try to be a certain thing. And it's like, they're trying to be a certain thing that isn't a certain thing. But it's now like, since it's being ha like happening, like feminism being broadcasted, like being broadcasted as something that isn't feminism. Feminism is an equal right between women and men. And it's being not portrayed the wrong way, but portrayed differently by girls on Instagram, like showing their sexuality, which isn't wrong at all. But it's like the new way to be a feminist or how girls are more open about like their body hair for other things that usually wouldn't be accepted by like the like people on Instagram, but now they're like way more accepting of it because it's like, what's cool? That's mostly like the thing is that kids are following in the footsteps of people and not finding their own particular voice. They're finding a voice that's already being said. It's not like you shouldn't be influenced by something that's good for like humanity because it's something that like has opened the doors for many people like that didn't know about it or didn't find it or found it weird before now they find understanding in it. But it's just weird because the teenagers of my like generation are mostly the ones that don't really know what their opinion is yet and stating an opinion that is not fully like thought through or fully your opinion is pretty much like the most heartbreaking thing to see for me personally because it's like they didn't get to find it themselves and find a passion that they have i don't know i feel like in my lifetime i'd like to ex like well, I'm trying to become a child psychologist for this reason, because I want to try to help teenagers who don't have a voice, or have it, they have a voice, but it's so held back. Like, being told that 
if you have ADD or if you have any type of learning disability that you have, that, that you're wrong and that because you don't fit this thing that you're not the right thing. And not that medication is the wrong thing, but it's not, it's not evaluated the right way. The evaluation may have been way simpler or way different than what society's like psychology board would put it under. Like if for instance, like some kids may not actually be depressed, but they have a feeling and they don't know what it means and they, they take it out in a, in a way. And then that, they never look at what stemmed it. They look at the reaction there, the reaction. And instead of it being like, you're a human organism who can like do things like, and a, re a reaction is like a physical thing. Instead of learning like how to like do a physical thing that may benefit you from that point and helping you deal with situations, they just try to deal with it the lazy way and medicate you so that you don't have to even deal with those things. But those things come with being a human or not everyone has even gets to experience that those things happen with being human. And that's mostly something that I've realized about my generation is that they don't really know about what they what they are and that's not wrong not wrong and it's something you have to find within yourself it's not something that someone can teach to you I think something that scares me is probably like being being like left behind because I hate like I'm a person that will like rethink everything like once something is done even if I'm not the one who got, who's personally like in act of it like I just always feel like what can I do to make myself a better person you know like I'm just a very person that's like it's not like I can't change what other people are doing but I can change what I'm doing right now and I mean, ultimately, in life, you can't let those things, like, get to you, but that's just something I find really scary, like, having someone that you love not talk to you is, like, the hardest thing, like, when you have a fight with your siblings, or if you feel like your sibling is done with you, like, you're like, what, like, I can't be left behind by you, or if they don't answer, like, your sibling doesn't answer, it's such a scary thing like I think the most most like anxiety I'm ever under is like the time period in between not knowing if someone's there or if they're not there where I see myself in like the next 10 years would probably be open opened up my own practice of like psychology um I want to open a practice that like focuses on teenagers age 15 to 18. Um, I mostly want to do that because there isn't that offer at all. And I know personally that it would be something that would help kids not feel completely wrong. And that's just something I've always wanted to help kids with because I know how it feels to feel like wrong but you're not wrong. And all I want to do is explain to them how they can like control their brain and like evaluate situations and evaluate their brain mechanisms and evaluate how they deal with things and how they and evaluate the small things that like might not actually be depression. It might just be a feeling. That's mostly what I'm having push me through it. Something that I have noticed in the like past couple of months has been how many people are fully happy within like themselves as in they don't need to go out, they don't need to do anything. Like 
they can just stay at home and we can like do something fun together. Like I'm realizing the only thing that I really care about is the people who make everything more enjoyable, even the shitty things more enjoyable. One thing that I, that like makes me happy would have to be my family or my friends. I also like to do like drawings or write when I like feel not so happy so I can like distract myself so that afterward I can evaluate the situation for what it is instead of what my emotional mind thinks it is. I love park talks with my friends. I like to walk to the park like near my house and just talk to them or like not them but like one. I usually do one on one with people. It's almost like I have like my own like like set like time to talk to people like I'm already like a doctor <laughs> but it's like evaluating situations and talking them out like and saying oh like is this a val like is this like a valid reason to have this feeling like and get a real response back from them is probably the most important thing and the most the thing that I appreciate the most out of like anything is that That's together fine. where you feel like you had like a weight lifted off your shoulders of like feeling un unknowing what your feelings mean and then having them reassured.